This is Ahams 2, my uh, video on how to repair an SNES fuse. And uh, first of all, in this video, you'll need a screwdriver with a 4.5 uh, mi millimeter uh, game bit or secure bit, a Phillips screwdriver, a uh, good chop pair of scissors, some good pliers. A soldering tool with a safety device, and uh, one of your mo and your most important part. Uh, oh, yeah, and the soldering stuff, whatever it's called, if if you need it, and uh, a 1.5 amp or 1.5 a pico fuse. You could also use a glass fuse, but uh, I like to go with the uh, more to the original look. And uh, our first step in this video is to take out the underside. I mean, take out the six screws on the bottom. Uh, you're going to use the 4.5 uh, millimeter uh, game bit. Uh, flip it over and uh, get all the six screws out. Well, once you're done with that, which I've already conveniently done. There we go. You're going to want to take your Phillips screwdriver, and uh, well, this this was supposed to be this will be uh, right on top of these two things. You're going to want to unscrew them and uh, get that out of the way. It's just it just makes it a little bit easier. It gives you a little more space. Uh, it's not necessary, but yeah. Next, we're going to uh, this is our fuse there, and we're going to want to you're going to want to put your pliers onto the fuse. I can show you right here. And uh and solder one side out, then solder the other. Uh I've already soldered one side out just for the convenience of the video. And uh yeah. Here. Get a good grip on it. Try to turn like a 90, uh, about 45 degree angle. And start. Yep, there we go. I got the fuse out. Now we can just set that aside. Oh yeah, and you. And now we're going to, uh, Get another 1.5 amp uh, pico fuse, and uh, take a pair of scissors and trim it down. I'll trim it down here real quick, and try try cut it so that's about the length of your last fuse, or uh, yeah, try cut it so that it reaches from point A to point B, but try not to get it too long. I'll give you an example here. Here we go. This is about the correct length. Right about I probably have a fifth of an inch on each. I mean, a fifth of an inch on uh, each side. Well, I don't know. Maybe an eighth of an inch. But yeah. So now we're going to take the soldering gun again. Actually, we're going to take a pair of pliers. My bad, guys. I'm not very good at this. Clip it on. I'm going to see. I'm going to put down the middle right here. I'm going to uh, side them on. And uh, after this, just turn it on and see if it works.
And there we go. The red light, that's good. And 